If you're looking to get an edge in your After Effects projects, I'm going to break down five motion graphic lines to make your work exciting. So if you're ready to propel your portfolio to the next level, let's get started. A great way to make your title work visually appealing is by creating wavy lines, and it's very easy to do this. All I'm going to do is grab the pen tool, make sure fill is set to none and click OK, and we'll set our stroke width to maybe about four. And you're welcome to change your stroke color to whatever color you want. We'll zoom out of our composition and we'll draw a long straight line like this outside of our comp like so. Then we'll open up our shape layer, go to add, add a repeater, open repeater one, increase the number of copies like crazy until you fill up the entire composition like this. If you want to bring the lines closer together, just open up transform repeater one and adjust the position here to make the lines closer together. And then to animate this, all we'll do is hit PR on keyboard for position, add a keyframe for our shape layer, move forward in time, and we can move our lines over to the left or the right, however way you want to animate this. And if you push this too far, just increase the number of copies to fill up that extra space. And a great effect that we can apply here is go to the store and grab turbulent displace. And this will make everything wavy. We can make this more intense by increasing the amount and also the size. And to actually make this wavy, just alt click the stopwatch for evolution and do a quick time expression like time asterisk 20. Grab yourself a cookie because congratulations, now you have some wavy lines. So if you're looking to add a unique graphic into your project, here is a great technique for creating awesome objects. So here at the top, you can grab any shape that you want. I'll be using the ellipse tool and I'll be using a stroke width of five. And I'll come here and draw a perfect circle by holding shift on my keyboard and here it is. So like we did in our previous technique, we'll add a repeater, we'll open it up, go to transform repeater, set the X position to zero and we'll bring down the scale by a few points. Then we can increase the number of copies. Another great thing we can do with the repeater is set the end opacity to 0%. And this will fade it into the background. That looks great. Another great effect that we can apply to this is a wiggle paths. We can open the wiggle path and then we can increase the size to make it more intense. So you'll see this is going to go crazy. And you can adjust the wiggles per second so it's not going to be going as fast. So now go ahead and grab yourself another cookie because you have a really cool wiggle object. So this next line concept is a very easy and quick technique because if you want to add repeated lines into your composition to add a little bit extra level of detail, it's just so easy to do this. What we do is we grab the pen tool, I'll set my color to white for this scene and all I'm going to do is just draw out a straight line by holding shift on my keyboard. And the only thing I need to do is is hit P on my keyboard for position, add a keyframe, and I can just take this line, move it off my screen like so, move forward in time maybe by a second or so, and I can have this line go across the composition or stop anywhere I want, but I'll have it go across the composition for example. And now we have the line going across the comp. However, we wanna loop this, so all I'll do is Alt click the stopwatch, I'll do a quick loop out expression, capital O, open, close parenthesis like this. So this line will continually loop throughout our composition forever. Another cool technique is you can set this to quotations ping pong like this, make sure your expression looks like mine. And instead the line will go just back and forth repeatedly forever. So it's up to you how you want to use this. But I would like to take this layer and just quickly go to edit duplicate. And then I'll select my keyframes here and just move this randomly and continue to duplicate this process and create a handful of duplicates of our line. So that's how you can create some repeated lines moving throughout your composition forever. So this next trick is all about creating line animations that you can use to spruce up your composition. So as before, we'll grab our lucky pen tool and we can come here and start creating a custom path however we see fit. But when your line is drawn out, all you gotta do is go to your shape layer, go to add and add trim paths. We'll open it up, we'll add a keyframe for start and end percents. We'll set the end to 0%. We'll move forward in time maybe by a second and set the start percent and the end percent to 100%. And then all you have to do is take the two top start keyframes and offset them by a few frames. So this will create a line animation that will fully animate in and out. However, select all the keyframes, hit F9 to make them easy ease and go to the graph editor. And let's go ahead and bring these points in so we can variate the animation. So now that animation is gonna look completely different and honestly, I like it a lot better. So now you can quickly duplicate this process by going ahead and creating some more custom lines outside of your current shape layer. And then when you have that line ready to go, just copy the trim paths and paste it to the new line. So now you have the technique to quickly duplicate this process. Whenever you're watching tutorials, always be thinking about how you can implement these small techniques into your future projects. Speaking of which, to help you save time and produce professional work, we have this awesome template pack for After Effects and Premiere Pro. You can preview and apply creative motion graphics with a click and easily modify those templates to fit your needs. So be sure to check out our link in the description to see what we have and you can also get our free pack. This is our equivalent of a Patreon, so if you do pick up anything, you will be supporting our channel, so thank you very much. All right, so for our last line trick, I really wanted to throw a wrench into our plans because this does not involve the pen tool or the shape. These lines are all created by using effects. You just don't know what you're gonna get with this 
channel. So we'll quickly go ahead and create ourselves a new solid and click OK. We'll go to Effect, we'll go to Noise and Grain and add a Fractal Noise. And don't be overloaded by all the parameters here. We're only adjusting three settings. Set the contrast to 500, go to Transform, and set the scale to 250. Then we'll go to Evolution, Alt click the Stopwatch, and we'll do a quick Time, Asterisk, 20, and this will animate our Fractal Noise. Then go to Blur and Sharpen and add a fast box blur. We'll set the radius to 50 and the iterations to two. Then we'll go to Stylize, we'll add Posterize, and we'll go back to Stylize and add a Fine Edges. So it looks something like this. We've got some lines, it's looking good. However, we wanna cut the white background out. So we'll go to Effect Keying and we'll grab Extract. We'll decrease the white point by a few points here. So now we should have this transparency. However, these lines look absolutely disgusting. So we'll go to Effect Matte and grab a Simple Choker. And we'll set our Simple Choker to maybe about negative four. And then the last thing you can do is go to Effect Generate and grab the Fill Effect and you can change the color of your lines however you see fit. Now you can rule the entire universe with your new empire of lines. <laughs>